I know you may not like it, but if you want to grow, you're going to like it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, for those of you who do not know me, and I talk about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle on this channel. Today's video is a bit different from those usual topics. It is all about how I grew my Instagram platform, my following from the start of the year, which was 3,000, till currently, as I record this video, it is 73,000 people. And it's only the beginning of August. So yeah, it has been a crazy journey. I've learned a lot of things along the way, and by no means, everything I say is not gospel. Please watch plenty of other videos like I did. This is how I grew by watching other videos on how to grow on Instagram. So these videos do work, they do help. And it's just the tips that I um, have learned along the way and it's what's worked for me. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So my first tip I would give more than anything is what do you bring to the table? It's all well and good going viral. It's all well and good doing, you know, having a reel that goes over a million. But if you don't have content that people want to follow, that is likeable, that is shareable, savable, that people can go on your feed, your page, and actually consume your content, you are not gonna convert to followers, you're not gonna convert to engaged community, and ultimately, that is what you want, I hope at least, like, following engaged community. Those are the two biggest things I believe people that watch these type of videos even want. You want that following, you want that social proofing with the numbers, and you want a community of people that actually engage in the po in the content you promote. So yeah, ask yourself why. Why are you doing this? Are you doing this just for like clout, for fame? Because if that's your goal, this video isn't really for you. But if you're doing this to really share the valuable content you have, then keep on watching and this is how I'm gonna help you grow. But first things first, make sure you have a catalog a plethora of work that people can consume and actually follow let's say your video does do well let there be something for people to follow so that's just like my disclaimer before anything don't think you're going to start from scratch and just build masses of following you may but trust me you're going to have no engagement and you'll have like a literally a dead account so yeah let's get into the proper first tip so Instagram has announced that they're no longer a photo sharing app. They are a video content app. Whether you like it or not, whether you hate the change, I personally love photos, but it's irrelevant. Instagram has decided they are a video sharing app and they are promoting, guess what, you've heard it, reels, reels, reels. That is the majority, that is the main way I have grown. So the cat's out the bag, people are wondering, Rachel, how did you go, how did you go? Reels, I grew mainly through reels. I'm using all the hands gestures, I'm just a very animated person. I digress. I grew through real. So, beginning of the year, I started watching videos on how to grow, just like you're probably doing now. And it was reels back then, and it is definitely reels now. Some people are saying post reels once a day, twice a day, three times a day. Honestly, I'm not gonna tell you how many times you should do a day, how many times you do in a week. Do what works for you. You do not want to burn yourself out. So there's no point of starting, I'm gonna do seven reels a day from someone who's never done a reel, then all of a sudden you do it for one week and then you're burnt out and can't do it for another three months. No, we want it to be sustainable. There's nothing worse than starting this big momentum and then burning out. So reels is your number one strategy to grow on Instagram currently. It's always changing, but as for like the past year, year and a half, reels has been king reels is king you don't take anything from this video and a lot of good gems reels is king if you want to really grow and i know you may be stuck in your photo ways but i'm just telling you instagram is not it's going to be like hitting the lottery to just grow purely on photos now so yeah if you want to really grow and grow rapidly you need to be on reels that's why i grew i've got now um about five videos over a million my highest real view was like 4.1 so yeah and it converted the followers for me which is like literally those five reels going viral for me is what has amassed like 70 like 50 to 60 thousand of my following a lot of that has come from photos as well like 15 thousand has come from photos but 60 thousand of it has probably come from reels alone and that's mainly on five or six reels have gone viral. So yeah, if you don't know about reels, get to know. Now when we're talking about reels, it's not just good enough doing a 60 second video. All of my videos that have gone viral, this is me, my tips, my like, you know, the things that I've learned, 
they have been short form reels so reels that like 6 to 15 seconds they haven't really been over 15 seconds the ones that have gone viral yeah I don't think any of them have so just bear that in mind it's not just good enough doing reels pumping out lots of reels we want short snappy things that can keep people's attention keep people watching from start to finish reels so 6 second reels 8 second reels those are great um, lengths to keep people watching from start to finish and again make it catchy give it let it have a good hook so there's nothing wrong with writing in your reels like let's say it's an audio reel and it has words like I don't know 2022 is my year time to get the bag for example in your video in your reel make sure you write those words so that people can read along to it and that actually that tricks the mind so you're reading along to the um, reel but you're actually consuming the whole reel which increases watch time then Instagram is like hmm they're watching the reel more often let's push out to more people and then in turn you get more views more views means more people watching your videos more reach and then higher chance of gaining followers so yeah not just you know reels any reels be strategic shorter form reels catchy reels reels that keep people's attention there are so many youtubers that will teach you about how to make really catchy hooky reels i'm not that person i'm just telling you what works for me most of the reels i'd be like i believe like four out of five of the reels that went viral for me had the words of the audio on the screen so if that doesn't tell you anything I don't know, apparently I heard this on Instagram, I don't know if it's true, but 80% of people who watch reels listen to it without audio. So can you imagine if you're putting a reel on with like a catchy sound on audio, they can't even hear it. So definitely putting the words on screen is like a good way to keep people's attention in my opinion. And when I was doing my own personal research on how to grow, I used to find a lot of the reels that went viral had words on the screen. So I was like, you know what, this is a no brainer. And it, honestly, it worked for me. Like I don't, I'm not special, I'm not famous, I don't have like, any celebrity friends or anything like that, but I would put words on my reels and they would literally do numbers, like crazy numbers. And I see some bigger accounts who haven't even got a million on reels. So honestly guys, that's like one of the best things I found out when trying to grow is putting reels and having the words on the screen. So yeah, reels, reels, reels are king. I know you may not like it, but if you want to grow, you're gonna like it. So yeah, Reels is king. Now, this is just my theory. It's not been proven, it's not really talked about, but when I was learning how to grow on Instagram, I would hear a lot of people talk about engaging in other people's content so that Instagram knows you're a real you know, person, a real consumer of the content, you're a real person using the app. So what I would do is, this is a strategy I, strategy I do, is when I see someone um, comment on my post let's say i post today at four o'clock i won't reply to those comments till the next day when i post another image so that it gives the people that commented yesterday opportunity to consume my content what i mean is once i have posted the next day i will then go back to the previous day post like every comment that has been um received and comment below so naturally they would get a notification they would see that my um my page, my feed has the, you know, on the stories it's got that red lit up so it knows I posted something. They'll probably go on that, engage in my content as well. So it just keeps that engagement flowing. I did that a lot in the beginning and I did find it worked for me just so people could be engaged with my content, you know. I find a lot of time, especially as you grow, engagement actually reduces. So you being engaging in other content causes engagement back, you know what I mean? So a good way to grow the, for people to actually notice you on this app and know that you're a real person, you're part of the community, is engaging not just in your posts but other people's as well. So don't reply to comments. If you're someone who doesn't reply to comments, which is quite rude in my opinion, start replying to the comments. It doesn't matter if it's one reply, go on their page, also engage in their content, but don't spam. Again, it's not proven, but don't be spam liking, like don't be liking 100 at a time. Like, no, don't do that. Um, be a sensible, content consumer, be a sensible Instagram user, which is what I feel like they want. So engage in other people's content, not just your own, go and like other people's pictures, comment on people that you like their feed or the feed that's similar to yours. So if you're a fashion content creator like me, I would engage with people I follow, of course, that are fashion content creators and go on like the um, explore page, comment on new feeds that you see and you like, comment on those as well. People from that comment section may see your account and again, Vice versa, they might follow, they might see your page, but hmm, they have something to follow. So yeah, definitely engage in other people's accounts. The little tip of, you know, commenting the next day when you've posted is like a great way to boost engagement in my opinion. And yeah, I know we want to grow, but engagement, especially if you want to be an influencer in this time, is like king. There's no point in having dead followers. And honestly, that's something I'm working on right now because I've grown so rapidly. Um, 
honestly you'll see some pictures on the screen of like the months of which I've like where I've grown like in July alone I grew by 25,000 followers on one reel now that is a testament to the real um converting world but actually because my page I've been doing this for a long time I've been seriously taking consequences since 2019 2020 when 2022 August so if you don't know, like I've been doing this for a long time, so I've had a catalogue of work for people to consume. So when that reel did take off, which is still currently growing and it's on 1.9 million views, people literally followed off of the back of my page. So that's why I was saying in the beginning, it's so important to have content that people can consume, that people enjoy. There's no point of you starting to say, planning to go viral. You can go viral. There are some videos I've seen that got 10 million plus views and their page is small because it just doesn't convert, like people have nothing to follow, like there's just nothing to follow. And if you do get followers, it's probably bot and spam accounts, which you do not want because it'll mean your engagement is dead. So yeah, 100%, 100% engaged on people's content. Don't just think it's not all about you. This is a community. Instagram wants to see you engaging with others in my humble opinion. So that worked for me a lot in the beginning. And just yeah, engaging with other people's accounts as well so that they can engage with next tip is to do with, again, being engaged, person on the app of Instagram posting frequently so I at the beginning of the year was like you know what I'm going to post frequently I know I said I'm not going to tell you how many times to post but this is what I did I decided in the beginning of the year I'm going to post a reel a day now did I post a reel a day no I tried to but please believe I was posting like five reels in a week so I was still doing a lot in my opinion giving myself a lot of chances to be um, seen more for Instagram to push my reels and for my content just to be out there in the world of you know reels and Instagram five days a week meant 20 reels in a month and honestly that is more than enough in my opinion to really push yourself out and give yourself a chance of being seen especially if you have great content already for people to consume that is more than enough now I wasn't really hooked up or um, bothered by trending sounds yes I did use trending sounds but I honestly don't think that's like the thing that got me um, to where I am. I think being consistent, showing up daily on Instagram. I feel like Instagram really rewards me because I was a content creator who showed up daily on their platform. And when one thing worked for me, Instagram was like, okay, it's working with people like this, so they continue to push me. So if you show Instagram that you're consistent, you're putting out content that people want to consume, they will continue to push other content. And it was like a spiral effect. One content did well, um, one reel did well, others start to grow as well because people obviously coming from my coming onto my page off of the back of that reel so Instagram would push more reels that were dead so that can just stop growing so yeah definitely being consistent with Instagram you want to be showing up on that daily being a creator that they can trust and want to put out in their platform if they believe that you have something to offer if you have value people like your stuff they will push you out there so shop daily on the app if you're somebody who wants to post once a week you're just not going to grow that is the hard truth. If you're gonna shop once a week, sporadically, not consistent, you're just not going to grow. Like your chance of growing are like slim to none. So be consistent. If you're someone who's struggling with consistency, again, ask yourself why are you doing this? If you're trying to grow, if you're trying to add value to people's lives, then find a way to be consistent. I create content in batch, I don't do it once a day, I do it maybe on a Saturday or Friday like today, and I'll create multiple videos, multiple reels, so that throughout the week I can just edit them, and push them out and not have to be stressed about, I need to create, you know, given, dedicated the whole day to creating content, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, whatever. So yeah, being consistent is king. You can push out all the reels you want or create all the reels you want, but if you're not consistent on that, don't post them, it doesn't matter. So be consistent. And again, when I mean being consistent, I felt like for me, being consistent with all of Instagram's platforms, so, when in the beginning they did still have videos, now they've made everything just reels. And um, I was posting videos, reels, posting on my stories, posting carousels. So if you're gonna post static pictures, please make it a carousel. Instagram cares about people staying on the app, their watch time, the amount of time they spend consuming your content. So carousels means people will be scrolling for longer on that particular post. So I would encourage you to make all pictures um, carousel. I know sometimes it's not easy, you just might want to post one picture of you and your friends. And honestly, if you want to do it, do it, but just know you need a strategy and carousel pictures are much better. So maybe have four or five pictures of different poses with your friend, just so that people can be on your page longer and in turn Instagram can push it out there to more people and you can get more reach and 
potentially more followers. Yeah, another tip is being strategic. So it's gonna go back to reels. Sorry if this video's all over the place, but you know, I'm just kind of like free flowing it. The main thing is reels, like I said, being consistent, um, ask yourself why you're doing this. But when it comes to reels, be strategic. I want you to have a strategy. So with me, how I choose a reel or sound to use is, I go on that sound. I don't really care how many people use it. 50,000 people use the sound, I don't care. Like, I just don't care. I'm not into those, I'm not one of those people like, is it a trend, is it about to take off? Like, I don't care. If that sound is popular, and if a lot of those um, videos you see have lots of high views, that means people want to consume it. So that's kind of what I go for. And then, if it's a sound that has words, like it's not music, it's talking, and it's within my six to 12 second ratio, like six to 12 second um, time, which I like to do, for reels that I feel can go viral, I will use it if it, pre if it like makes sense with my niche. I will use it. Um, simple as, or it's about lifestyle, beauty, fashion, whatever. If it's usable for me, I will use it. I'll throw on a clip and I will add the words in the screen. That has been my strategy for growth and it has worked phenomenally, like beyond what I can even imagine. Now, that doesn't mean that other content of reels, like let's say fashion reels, you just try outfits can't go viral. Of course they can. My reel that is currently trending, that is viral, is literally me, literally a video of me doing like a falling over you'll see on the screen. But I've done that video about three times, four times on my page, and they all had ridiculous amount of views. So people will like that content from me. And that's for me, it's something I call like a cash cow. I just know if I create a reel like that, a similar style, it will do well in numbers and it will gain me more followers because people seem to really love that reel. So know what works for you in your community, know what people like you to produce and to create. Again, I found like my cash cow, if you know what I mean, the, the, the reel that will always bring me numbers, which is just an amazing thing to be honest to have, knowing you have a piece of content that will always do well or people always like to consume. So yeah, know what works for you and your community, know what people want to see from you and recreate that. Now I know I said Instagram is not a picture um, picture app anymore and it really isn't. However, that's not to say you can't grow on Instagram. In the beginning of the year, that is the beginning of the year, um, I grew through pictures. Before my reels were taking off, I was growing through pictures. Now I had a much smaller account, maybe like 5,000 at the time, and I was growing literally by, via pictures being put on the explore page. So if you do love pictures, it's not impossible to grow, but you have to have really eye-catching, amazing, good quality photos. I spent the beginning of the year in January in America, where I took content with my cousin, who is a content creator. We also have a video on how to become an influencer, which I'll to leave in the cupboard, above which I know a lot of people found so useful. At the time when we recorded that video, she was the only, she was the only influencer. I was an inspiring one. And today I am an influencer. I have a manager because of that video, I believe, and because of like the tips we gave. So I would highly recommend watching that video, which is in the cards above. I took lots of amazing content when I was out in America with her and those pictures honestly I was gaining like I could see on my insight a thousand followers off the back of that picture because they were all hitting the explore page and people were obviously following so I grew I think up to 10k because of pictures not reels because of pictures so yeah it's not impossible to grow a picture and I wanted to like share that because that is how I grew also in the very beginning but you know reels are now king but I have been seeing people growing off pictures especially if they hit the explore page they're getting 4,000 plus view, um, likes, you're gonna get some following. So yeah, pictures are not completely dead, but reels is more important. But yeah, if you do love pictures, focus on quality, eye-catching, really sharp images, beautiful colors, and you potentially can grow. But you know, I wouldn't focus on that too heavily, especially now I've noticed that my pictures engagements are just much lower compared to reels. So you know, take it as you would, but for me, Yours is key. So another tip is to be patient. I know, I know, I know. It seems like oh my gosh, easy for me to say I've grown rapidly this year. However, I started 2019 um, taking this content creator seriously. So it is now 2022, and I've just now see growth. I spent all of last year stuck on 3,000. Like the growth I've experienced in a day. Let's say there's one day I experienced 3,000 people following me. I couldn't even do that in the whole entire year. So please be patient with your journey. Don't look at me and be like, oh, she's so lucky. No, honey, I've been doing this for such a long time and it's only now I'm growing. I've wanted to grow for so long, but I'm also very thankful I didn't grow in that time because one, my eye, the way I create is completely different. I feel like I'm in my 
not prime, but I'm definitely in that flow of going in the right direction and I'm happy it's happening now rather than later. So be patient, it may literally not be your time if you can believe in stuff like timing and seasons. I'm a firm believer of that, I'm a Christian, so I'm honestly believe that it is my time, it's the time that God wants me to grow. So be patient with your account, maybe it's just not your time to be at that number, that 100k or 50k that you really desire because you're just not creating the content that will get you there and that's just the real tea. Sometimes people don't want to hear that. I definitely wasn't ready in 2019, 2020, even 2021. This year, if you follow my Instagram account, which I will leave here on the cards, a little plug, this has been my year, even mentally, like I was in the beginning of the year, I said I've given it my all and I really meant it. I meant I've given it my all every single day and I believe I'm really reaping what I have sown. So yeah, be patient with yourself, keep growing, don't be afraid to build, don't be afraid to continue to create content when no one's watching, when it feels like no one cares. I've been that girl, I was that girl only until recently and now I'm seeing the growth and the engagement and people caring about my content. But trust me, I was digging, I was plugging away, I was sharing, I was creating, when nobody asks me to. So yeah, be consistent and be patient with your journey because your journey is unique and that's what my tip on how to grow is. Da -da -da. God, like I said before, I'm a Christian and honestly, I pray for this. If you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I have wanted to be an influencer, not for vain, reasons alone because yes there are definitely main reasons as to why you want to be influenced of free stuff trips of course but i love love fashion i love beauty i've loved it from a babe from a little girl and i've always shared my love of fashion with family friends with people it's just something i naturally gravitate towards it's the only thing i really think i'm good at i know it sounds sad but i just love fashion i love styling i love beauty so for me being an influencer wasn't just like a vain thing but was it feels like it was my calling you know, it sounds soppy, but it just feels like it's my personal calling. And of course, I wanted to share that with a community of people that generally love the way I style and dress. So yeah, I prayed about this. I asked God, God, I really want to make this work. I really want this to be how I live off. And I've been praying about this for years. So it is now I'm seeing it take off. And I really believe it's because God believes it was my time. It is my time to flourish, to take off, to be exposed in that way. I know a lot of people don't talk about this and it's not like your traditional way, but I would be such a fake to myself if I didn't say like, I really believe God is the reason why I've taken off in this season and in this time. Um, all glory to God because girl, it's not easy. And I see so many amazing content creators showing up daily daily and it doesn't seem like it's working but all i can say is do not be weary in well doing for in due season you will reap if you do not faint i'm going to put the scripture um, of that verse i just read on the screen honestly keep digging away keep sowing you will reap keep plugging away keep being consistent it just takes that one piece of content to blow up for everyone to see what you have been doing for years and that is my encouragement to anybody who's been doing this for years and feels like this is pointless it's not working i've been doing this for years honestly i've been there i've done that but your time will come sis bro your time will come so just be consistent keep plugging away and keep being faithful at what you're doing i finally done my video some of you can stop having my neck because everyone has asked for this video and i have meant to do it but i'm just glad i've done it now and it should be out in a couple of days so yes guys this is how i grew my platform from 3000 in january to 70 over 70,000 currently so yeah that is my tips there are so many videos please watch as many as you can i did that at the beginning of the year my video is not gospel this is just tips that have worked for me okay you can take them you can leave them do what you will but yes thank you guys for watching if you've made it to the end please subscribe i am a fashion beauty lifestyle content channel so if you're not someone who really consumes that i won't lie to you don't subscribe but if you do if you like my vibe subscribe 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 who knows i might be doing a 100k video soon you never know but yes thank you guys again for watching and i will see you in my next video bye my loves Take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day.